Hello! As we all know, feminists like to talk about rape culture and how we in the Western world live in a rape culture. And I have always thought that that's not the case. But maybe they have a point. So let's look at a Texas woman named Megan Holting. Uh, this is a story from last year. I think uh, the sexual assault happened in 2014, but I only recently saw this, so I'm now making a video about that. So a Texas grand jury has declined to indict a woman who has a who was arrested last year for allegedly breaking into the home of a friend of her husband's and sexually assaulting the man while he slept, the court records so show. So basically the 31 year old Megan Holding went, uh, broke in to the man's home and then she, she was wearing a sleeping gown, but uh, she took that off. So she only had her panties and she wrapped her legs around this man who was sleeping and then uh, uh, started to perform oral sex on the man. And the man is... Uh, only known by his initials MDM. And he said, uh, told sheriff's, sheriff's deputies that he awoke to the feeling of an unknown party on top of him, adding that he felt the offender place his penis in her mouth. Uh, and MDM said that he recognized the topless woman in his bed as his friend's wife. So <laughs> it must be quite a shock, first of all, you're sleep sleeping, then somebody's on top of you, and then it's your friend's best friend's wife. So it's really awkward. When deputies later questioned halting, she rapidly reportedly admitted getting into the victim's bed where she kissed him and wrapped her legs around his waist. And here he says wearing a nightgown, uh, removed the garment, was only wearing panties when she got into bed. The felony complaint charged that halting fondled the man's genital genitals and attempt that to perform fellatio upon him. Holting was arrested three times in the weeks prior to the, her October 2014 burglary color. Um, <laughs> and uh, for those she got probation for two years and ordered to perform 48 hours of community service according court records. So a woman who has been uh, arrested three times uh, for death and breaks into uh, a man's house, MDM, and basically sexually ass assaults him and she gets two years probation and 48 hours of community service. Um, here it says, since grand jury deliberations are secret, it is unknown how the panel reached its decision to reject the case against Holding, who reportedly confessed to the home invasion. Uh, it is unknown, but I do have a Good guess. There were plenty of women in the jury and some uh, horny looking guys, so they were thinking that probably some feminist women, you know, women can't rape men, he should be lucky, and uh, 
the men also thought that you know this guy just should be lucky and let the woman perform oral sex on him and you know this is a 31 year old woman but to me she looks more like 40 years 41 years old but she's not but that's not the point <laughs> but here in the comment sections you can just see well mister maybe it's time you attend your needs the added uh, well, mister, maybe it's time for you to attend to the needs of your deranged wifey. I don't know if he's joking or not, but usually you get these kind of comments. Uh, again, taking the blame out of women, it's the old man's fault. And if this woman was uh, sexually needy, he could, she could have gone to some other guy's uh, apartment or found somebody on the street and perform oral sex on that guy and he would he would have been willing but she decided to go to the her husband's best friend so this was something something else just sexual neediness or whatever and here Guy Vincent says, if the roles were reversed, so would he, uh, if the roles were reversed, so would the indictment. So maybe feminists are right. Maybe we do live in a rape culture where women can go and sexually assault men and <laughs> get on, and on top of that, they can be arrested three times and they only get 48 hour, 48 hours of community service yeah. it's good to be a woman at least when you go to the court room <laughs>